Hi students, this is Ms. King. I'm here to walk you through your story revisions assignment uh, for week four of journalism. So you either have me, Ms. King, or Mrs. Stingley in journalism one. Last week during week three, we wrote your first uh, news article. You interviewed three people of your choice um, about something to do with school, whether or not it was remote learning or in-person learning or the transition from remote learning to in-person learning. But you chose your angle about school and you wrote an article um, about the process of learning this semester. So now we are going to focus on revising. So you're going to pull up your copy of your news article from last week and you're going to copy paste it into this document. You are going to copy paste it not once but twice, twice. You're going to copy paste it into this box and then into this box. So you are copy pasting your rough draft of your news article from last week into this box that says copy one and into this box that says copy two. So you're copying it twice. Then you're going to read your story out loud to yourself. You're going to hear it um, in your own voice. I want you to hear the rhythm of your language. That'll help you catch um, any grammatical errors or any awkward phrasing and things like that. Um, but you're doing that aloud. And then you're thinking to yourself, okay, what do I actually think about my story? So think about this as, think about your story in the sense of pretending that you aren't the person that wrote it. So if you were an outsider looking in, what might you think of this story? What might you be confused about? Um, what, do, what would your opinion be on um, whether or not you like this? Did it flow well? Do you understand what the writer is trying to say? So what do you think about your story in general? I just want you to reflect on your story for step three. And then step four, we're gonna process, we're gonna start the process of revising. So you are going to read, so for step four, you're going to read your article another time. So again, you're going to read it out loud to yourself and you're going to highlight these different things. So in pink, you're going to highlight the grammatical errors that you've made. So like maybe if you're not sure if that comma is right, if you're not sure if you use a semicolon correctly, if you're not sure um, if it's anything to do with like punctuation um, or grammar, I want you to highlight in pink. Okay. Then in lime, you're going to highlight any spelling errors that you might have made. So even if you're not sure, highlight it in lime and then we can go back and double check. Um, if you're not sure about a name, highlight it in lime, then, then you're going to go back and double check the spelling of that name. In yellow, you're going to highlight any um, sentences that you would like to rewrite entirely. So this is like maybe if you're reading along and a sentence sounds awkward or, or jumbled, or if you're not even really sure what you were trying to say in that sentence, highlight it in yellow. Highlight it in yellow. So remember, you're highlighting things to mark what you're going to change in copy two. So copy one, we're just highlighting the things that we want to change, and then copy two, we will actually change them. Okay, so in copy one, you're going to highlight in blue the different quotes from your interviewees. So remember, last week you were asked to interview at least three different people um, about the system of learning this semester. So you need to quote them in your article. And so you're gonna highlight all of your quotes in blue so that we can make sure that you formatted those correctly. It'll be a lot easier to check the formatting of all your quotes if you can easily pick them out in your story. Okay, and then last but not least, you're gonna highlight um, any time that you put yourself in the story or like put your own opinion in the story when you mention yourself or use the word I. I want you to highlight that in purple. Because remember, this is not about you. This is not about your opinion. Um, you are giving the facts. You are um, giving your readers, your audiences, uh, information and featuring, if that's the angle that you chose, then you're featuring the different people who've experienced um, virtual learning or remote learning or whatever angle that you've chosen. So once again, um, we are not talking about ourselves, so you're highlighting in purple anytime that you mention yourself, your own opinion, or use the word I. So after you complete step four, then your first copy and copy one should have a lot of colors on it. So you should have a lot of markings, different um, kind of rainbow look here, um, and that'll help you figure out what you're going to do for copy two. So in copy two, then you're going to refer to all the things that you highlighted, and you're going to change them, and you're going to fix them. So if you have anything in pink, you're going to fix those grammatical errors. Um, you're going to Google whether or not you think a comma should go, um, I don't know, after uh, another item on a list. You're going to Google how to use a semicolon if you're not sure. Um, you're going to double check the spelling, any spelling mistakes that you highlighted in Lime, and you're going to change them in copy two. Uh, and you're going to rewrite any sentences that you highlighted in yellow. So again, you're referring to the things that you highlighted in copy one, and you're changing it in copy two. So that is step four. You're going through all the things that you highlighted in um, so copy one, and you're changing them in copy two. Okay. Now, then... Um, you're going to read your story out loud again.
Again, you can never reread your story too many times because again, the more you hear it out loud, the more it'll be easy or for you to pick out any mistakes or any errors or things like that. It's easier for you to hear the rhythm of your language when you read it out loud. It's easier for you to hear what sounds awkward um, or jumbled. So that is what you're doing for this assignment. This is a um, structured way for you to revise your draft and I want you to visually see it, especially um, with these colors, what you're changing and how. So if you have any questions, Questions, please email me or Mrs. Stingley or um, we can always set up a Google Meet or, or Zoom, whatever your teacher uses uh, to do any one-on-one -on -one tutoring if you need it. So